All right. Thank you for joining us. My name is Otto Hilska. I'm founder of CEO Swarmia, a developer productivity company. If you think about these three amazing growth companies, let's see. We're going to get the slides back. Thank you. If you think about these three amazing growth companies, they're nowadays doing extremely well, but they were not the first ones in their respective markets. In fact, there was a well-funded competitor uh, already in place, and yet they somehow out-executed their competition and became market leaders. Being able to ship great products quickly is not a minor thing. It's basically an existential question for many companies. Everyone's trying to be a software company, but it's really difficult to be a great software company. When companies are scaling, growth kind of creates scaling pains almost automatically. As the complexity increases, you, things start falling apart. Things that used to take a couple of days to build, now all of a sudden take uh, months or even years. This is made worse by several trends. For example, people being more remote, it's more difficult to kind of work with your team, understand the bottlenecks, uh, and collaborate. The number of developers in the market is growing at a higher rate than ever before. And many teams are led by the first-time managers who haven't done the job before. So how do you solve these problems early before they become too difficult to solve? Measuring development productivity is kind of the starting point for accelerating that learning and accelerating that improvement. But it's a really tricky topic because you can go so wrong by trying to measure the wrong things. And we have a couple of historical examples of this. So in the early 2000s, we talked about agile metrics, measuring things like sprint velocity. And we also had a bunch of tools trying to pull numbers from code bases. And turns out, neither of those approaches were very good. And that basically caused the whole industry to give up on trying to understand developer productivity, uh, which has made it more difficult to pinpoint the problems and actually improve. Now, the industry started going to the right direction for a couple of years. There's a state of the DevOps report, the book Accelerate, something called Dora Metrics, which is introducing this kind of balancing idea of looking at how quickly can you deliver and how quickly can you iterate while keeping a good quality and keeping things in check. And the latest research in this domain actually introduces this very holistic way of thinking about development productivity. This is from VP of Research from Microsoft. Uh, it's well established, and it happens to be exactly what Swarmia is about. We started building a company already a couple of years before this, and we're on track to being uh, the most kind of modern take on development productivity and how teams can improve. We figured that in order to enter this kind of a market that doesn't exist yet, we would need to work with companies who are thought leaders, who everyone else is looking up to. You cannot go to the loggers and give them tools for measuring individual developers and stack ranking them. You have to find companies who will show the way for everyone else so that the industry knows what's coming next. Um, our target customer is venture-funded, a company with anything from 20 to 300 developers. Typically, we make about 10K to 100K uh, annual recurring revenue from these companies. The three companies I mentioned before, they're all Swarmia customers, as well as these other great uh, product companies that we're working with. So we've already managed to convince a bunch of the industry-leading engineering companies to work with us to build the best product in the market. We build a tool that pulls data from all of your development tools and helps you identify what's slowing you down. So if something's taking long to ship, what's causing it? It could be that your team is focusing on the wrong things. It could be that there's a ton of reactive work that's basically outside of your team's responsibility that's slowing you down. It could be your team organization and team setup is slowing you down because work needs to go through multiple teams. It could be that your process is slow because you're waiting for someone to test your code before you can get it to production. There's a number of reasons 
but by introducing visibility first, you can start diagnosing these issues a lot faster than what you could do before. A lot of swarm is actually not about showing you a single number. If you think about developer productivity, you might think that it's going to be about showing a number and looking for it to go up or down. But no, we are really showing you the work you are doing and how can you learn from that work. So if we just completed a feature, we can say that these are the people who worked on it. This is what was most difficult about it. Let's have a discussion. Data is just a discussion starter. It's really important for us to get the teams actually on board. We're the only tool in this space that actually get developers to use it, which is absolutely fundamental for being able to get you better results as, a, as an organization. We have a unique concept called working agreement, which allows teams to say that, as a team, we want to solve this problem by adopting this working agreement. So if you're identifying that your team is quite siloed, and as a result, people don't know the areas of the code base, you could say that for every feature we're building, we're going to have at least two people working on it. And this way, we're continuously spreading knowledge about the stuff that we're building. That makes Wormia unique in being able to both adapt to different types of teams, as well as get you those real results. We've built a great team of 26 people. Six of them are in the United States. The rest of them are here in Helsinki. We've staffed all of the key roles we wanted to staff for, for this year. So uh, we have a great product design lead, marketing. Uh, our VP of sales has been a developer, but has been selling to this audience for almost 20 years. And we have, we have a team that's able to move faster than anyone else in this space. We started the company in November 2019 and immediately raised 1 million euros from Lifeline as a pre-seed. Uh, about 18 months ago, we raised a seed round with Alvin. And actually, today happens to be our three years birthday. And right now, We've reached the Series A readiness in terms of our metrics. We're growing roughly 6x per year. And we are ready to start fundraising next year. We're not focusing on it just yet. But uh, next year is going to be a great time for us to uh, start talking with investors. If you're a startup, we have a free option for, for you uh, to use with your engineering team. If you are an investor, your portfolio could probably shift, uh, ship software products faster. So maybe introduce Warmia to them. And if you're a scale-up, please come talk to us. We can actually help you get some pretty significant uh, improvements in your organization. Thank you very much for your time. <laughs>